Are you taking money from people and then altering assessments no. at the request of attorneys? No. I really needed help with this drinking and I didn't get it. Something wasn't going right there at that facility for sure. Treatment clinics where counselors are accused of taking bribes from criminal defendants. How much money did she take? $3,000. She took $3,000 from this guy? Yes, she did. Then allowing them to skip their court-ordered drug treatment. Our investigations uncovered a half dozen such places, mostly in Pierce County. All of the clinics, their owners, and the counselors themselves had previously been investigated by the state, resulting in few, if any, penalties. I was the supervisor of all the people that go out and conduct the inspections of treatment programs. Julian Gonzalez is the recently retired supervisor for the Division of Behavioral Health and Recovery. He's part of a wave of experienced DBHR inspectors who quit the agency last year. I think the majority of them left because they felt our, we had lost our integrity. This is where the patients can relax before group or during breaks. Gonzalez points to his investigation of this troubled Spokane clinic, which we reported on in 2016, as an example of interference from senior DBHR administrators. It's demoralizing when your upper management comes in and sabotages the work that you're doing. Gonzalez says that's exactly what happened when he uncovered six positive drug tests on criminal defendants, clients here, that had not been reported to the court. I had a lot of uh, drinking problems in the past. This man is one of those clients, a repeat DUI offender who we spoke with in 2016. The clinic did not report his positive tests for opiates and methamphetamine to the Spokane judge who sentenced him to treatment, according to Gonzalez's findings. Gonzalez says at this point, any attempt at compromise should have hit a wall. Washington law says DBHR shall revoke an agency's license upon three such failures to report a positive drug test to the courts. The Spokane Clinic had six of those violations. It's a must. We have to. Hands are tied. I can't change it because it's a state law. So he was stunned when his order shutting the clinic down was reversed by DSHS Deputy Director Dennis Malmer, seen here last May, and the Attorney General's office. They reduced the number of violations? Yes. They, From what to what? From six to one. They let them off the hook? Right. What did you think about that? I think it's, uh, it's unconscionable. Gonzalez suspects Malmer overturned his decision after the clinic's lawyers threatened a legal fight. Out of some kind of fear of attorneys, I don't get it. We have uh, the attorney general's office. It, it's a mockery of treatment. Other former inspectors told us their stories of management shutting down investigations when clinics took legal action. We've evaluated the processes and systems by which we conduct this work. Uh, that evaluation clearly indicated there are things that we needed to improve on. Evangelist the Smiley, the DSHS chief of staff, says the agency recently completed this internal review of DBHR. Ordered because of heavy scrutiny in the media, it found 47% of drug treatment agencies pass due for inspections, a whopping backlog, a lack of training by DBHR staff, and a slow response to complaints. Do you agree that these problems just sort of festered for quite a while? As I said in the outset, if, uh, if I could go back and do the one thing all over again, it would be moving faster uh, on issues, moving faster on allegations. But here's the thing. None of the four experienced former inspectors that we spoke to were interviewed by auditors in that review. It was a whitewash of the real problems, according to Gonzalez. They're not going to find anything especially if they don't talk to witnesses. Now, DSHS says it asked for another review, this time by the state patrol. Last month, the detective started looking specifically at whether DBHR broke any state laws. We've yeah. got enough reporting from you and allegations and issues and others for us to refer this to the state patrol to, to look at. DSHS says the state patrol review is almost complete and the full report will be made public soon. In Olympia, Chris Ingalls, King 5 News. DSHS says the state patrol has interviewed the former inspectors who appeared in our stories. Also, the attorney general's office says it reviewed its work in this case and found its lawyer acted in accordance with the high standards of the office.